Do you sell something online? Do you run ads on Facebook or Instagram? Then you need to watch this video on product catalogs. Hi, I'm Morgan, a digital marketing professional with Life Marketing. Today I'm going to talk about the Facebook product catalog, which is an excellent way for you to sell your products and services to new and existing audiences. I'll show you what the product catalog is, how it works, how to set it up for your business, and I'll share some tips and tricks. So let's get into it. First, what is the product catalog? The catalog on Facebook allows you to advertise products that you sell dynamically. This means Facebook chooses the best combination of copy, creative, placement, and person to show your ad to. This is done via machine learning. Before you can create a catalog, you'll need to have a Facebook page for your business and a business manager account so that you can manage everything in one place. Ensure that you have full admin access to the business manager and the page that you'll be using. This will help you avoid any pitfalls in the process. Now let's look at creating a catalog. We'll walk through the catalog set up in the Facebook business manager step-by-step -step as of October, 2021. First, you'll go to your commerce manager. You'll start creating your catalog. If this is the first catalog that you've ever made, you'll click get started. Select create a catalog and then click get started. And if you've already created a catalog, then you'll see your selection of catalogs here. Select one of those. If you want to, select add catalog to create a new one. Now select the type of inventory that you advertise or sell and click next. For e-commerce, these are products only. Choose how you want to add items to your catalog. You'll select upload product info if you plan to add items yourself in Commerce Manager, or you can connect it to a partner platform if you host your items on a larger website that has an integration with Facebook. Next, you'll select the Business Manager account that your catalog belongs to. This unlocks more ways that you can use your catalog than selecting a personal account, and it enables you to sign permissions for other people to work on your account, like if you were to hire an agency. Now you have to be a business admin of a business manager account, so that's why it's important to make sure you have that access before you get started. Now you'll enter a name for your catalog and click Create. So now that you've got that set up, let's look at adding items to your catalog. At this point, you're not quite done. You've created your catalog, but you don't have any items in it yet, so you can't run ads to it. There are a few options for adding products to your catalog. I'm going to talk about all of them and then show you how to do my favorite method for small businesses. There are three main ways to add items to your catalog in the Commerce Manager. The first is manually. You'll add items using a manual form in Commerce Manager. The second is a data feed. You'll upload a spreadsheet file to add items in bulk. You can upload a file once or you can set up scheduled uploads to happen on a regular basis. Your file will be in a CSV or an XML format or some other spreadsheet format. You can also use your Facebook Pixel. This will help you import and update your items automatically from your website, so it's super handy if it works for you. It's a little bit more complex to set up. You may need help with your developer, but there are instructions on Facebook's website, and I know most of you could probably figure your way through it. Now, Facebook created a table to help you decide what method will work best for your business. You can find that at the link displayed on the screen here or just pause so that you can read it. We took a screenshot for you. Now here's the best method that I use for most small businesses. Manual upload can work well for your business if you only have a few products or services that don't change that often. And I would categorize a few as less than 10. But if you are frequently adding new products or products are changing or you sell hundreds or thousands of items, manual upload would just take multiple full-time employees and it would be too difficult to manage the listings and I'm not about that life for you. That's why I recommend using a data feed to upload your products. So let's look at how to set up a data feed So I think this will apply for a lot of you. Before you can upload a data feed, you need to create the file in the proper format. Facebook's help documents have detailed instructions that you can find at the URL on the screen. It may take some trial and error. Don't worry, that's normal. After you've done that, you'll follow these steps. Go to Commerce Manager and select your catalog. Open the Catalog tab and go to Data Sources. Select Add Items. If a dropdown appears, select Add Multiple Items. Select Data Feed followed by Next. Now this is optional, but you can check to see if your file is formatted correctly here. You'll select Check File and a tool will appear in a new tab. You'll copy and paste some of the rows from your file and then select validate. If you see any errors here, you need to make sure that you fix those before you move forward because those errors will follow you. Close that tab when you're finished and select next. Choose how to upload your file. You'll follow the link from your selected option to upload from computer, use a URL, or use Google Sheets. Now remember that your data feed can be set to update on a schedule. 
I recommend weekly on your slowest day, but you can run that by your developer if you have one. When you use a feed, you don't have to worry about manually tracking or updating inventory or images, which is excellent for small businesses. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. Now let's look at what you do with a product catalog. Now that you know pretty much everything that you need to know about catalog setup, let's talk about why you even want the catalog. Like what will it do for your business? It's a valid question, so I'm glad that you're asking. A catalog is useful for a lot of things, but here are some of my favorites. Dynamic retargeting ads. For example, you can show products from your website that a visitor viewed but didn't purchase. You can also create collections to use these in instant experiences. These are full screen experiences that open from ads on mobile devices. You can also use these collections in other places on Facebook. I also like tagging products in feed and story posts. You'll need catalog items uploaded if you want to be tagging your products in your feed or your story posts, which I highly recommend. And when Instagram and Facebook allow tagging products in live video next year, you'll want to take advantage of that too. And you can also use it to run collaborative ads with other pages. If you want to work with influencers or other brands to run ads together, you'll need a catalog to do this. Now let's look at some of the changes that are coming to the product catalog. As I mentioned, Facebook has announced that you'll be able to tag products from your catalog in your live shopping feeds sometime next year. This may update the way the catalog works, but I don't think it's likely to change how the upload or the setup process works in any big way. The iOS updates are likely to affect reported traffic back to Facebook from Apple devices. Facebook is working on their own systems to improve tracking as Apple continues to make these changes. We'll bring updates here when we hear them, so be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out. Let's look at some catalog best practices. You can follow some best practices to help your ads perform better and make them easier to manage. Here are some of the most important ones in my experience. Number one, use one catalog for ads and shopping, like tagging organic posts or selling in your Facebook or your Instagram shop. There's no need to create multiple catalogs for different applications. Number two, keep your catalog updated. I recommend using automated updates set on a weekly or monthly schedule, whatever makes most sense for your business. Number three, Provide good quality photos, accurate titles, descriptions, and prices. Double check all links to ensure that they go to the right place on your website. Spending time on your website, where most of this info will pull from, is key here. Number four, create sets within your catalog for easier advertising. Sets are groups or categories of products within your catalog. If you sell clothes, this could look like t-shirts, pants, and outerwear. Number five, Make sure you house the catalog in your business manager and share permissions with people working on your account there. Did you find this video helpful? Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on our weekly digital marketing videos. Your catalog will make it much easier to sell your products on Facebook and Instagram and is essential for retargeting product viewers or other website visitors. If you sell anything online and use Facebook to advertise, you need to get your catalog uploaded and set up ASAP. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. We'll help you out. Thanks so much for your time today. See you soon.